Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing another episode of Wacky YouTube, as you saw in the title. So, since the beginning, one of the most recommended people I've been getting, along with Daisy Brown, and we'll get to her trust, is Pantry, and I think that's how you read it. Anyways, let's get to watching some of these videos. First of all, it's important to note that in the about description, it's just a bunch of numbers, and there's links to Twitter, Discord, and merch. Okay, so let's start with the first video I ever saw. Billy. Yes, mother. What's that? What's what? That thing on your plate. A cake. I thought I told you you're never allowed to eat cake again. But it's my birthday. I don't care, you're not allowed to eat cake, now I'll have to punish you. Consider this your birthday present. Santiago. I don't even really know what to say. I do think that it's pretty funny that the mom and the kid are pretty much like the same character, or like the same outfit, just like the mom has makeup. A really weird thing about this video that really grossed me out and creeped me out at the same time is when the kid turns around to like look at his mom and you hear the like cracking of the bones or that weird noise. Ugh, that made me feel so uncomfortable. You know like there are those main things that make you feel really uncomfortable? That's one of them for me. Breaking noses Cutting Achilles heels and smashing teeth are other things that make me feel equally uncomfortable to that, just to give you an idea. Also, getting shot in the head as a birthday present. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's go to the next video. Okay, since I like SpongeBob, I figured we could look at Sandy Needs More Nuts, a totally non-sexual title. Hey SpongeBob, can you give me a few nuts? Sure, Sandy. More, please. Here you go. More. Um, okay. More, SpongeBob, more. Sandy, why don't you get them? You're standing right next to the table. Because we're tighter than bark on a tree. What does that even mean? More SpongeBob, more. Okay, fine. More. There are no nuts left. You ate all of them. Not all of them, SpongeBob. Santiago. For some reason, that gave me the feeling that it could have been a nightmare SpongeBob was having for some reason. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to think about that. Um, the voice of Sandy was really creepy. I thought that SpongeBob overall was actually pretty, like, considerably normal for these types of videos. Like, his voice was small and kind of cutesy, whereas Sandy was just creepy as fuck, and I thought it was really funny when her neck started coming forward. It reminded me of a viral picture. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but if I do find it, I'll put it here. But just the idea of being like, when someone says something that's really stupid or something, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. But I am delusional because it's really hot in here, but I can't open the windows because it's loud and there's no air conditioning. So anyways, let's get to the next video. Mother, look, a clown. Oh, 
What a friendly looking clown, why don't you go say hi? Hello. Hello, little boy. What is your name? Billy. Nice name, where do you live? In house number 666. Oh yes, that is my favorite house. Do you want to see my gun? Okay. Wow, that is cool. Get in my mouth, Billy. What? Get in my mouth now. Why? Because we're tighter than bark on a tree. No. Get, Get in, in my, my mouth, mouth now, now, Billy. No. Oh, okay. Santiago. Okay, I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not, but when I look at these weird channels, I never, never, never look at explanation channels or people uh, making videos about like what they think everything means just because I don't want to taint the perspective I might potentially have. Uh, so sorry if this is like, oh, duh, to some of you guys, but I didn't watch any of those videos just to have like a clean slate coming into this. So the main themes here are that someone always seems to die according to these three videos. There's always the thing of we're tighter than barkometers. Is that what this said? And then there's always the Santiago. So I'm assuming Santiago is the kid's name, I think. Um, and here, one thing that was really creepy was when the clown, well, the clown in itself was really creepy, but when he was like, get in my mouth now, like the fact that the mouth just like came out and was like, like right in your face, like that, that was really creepy to me. Like, I don't like that at all. And the fact that it was bending all over the place. And then they did the neck thing again, the mom, the mom that looks exactly like her kid when every time they turn their neck, when it's like, and I'm just like, oh, that just makes me feel so uncomfortable. But overall, as much as like I don't like clowns, I don't feel like this channel is as creepy as other ones. It's definitely weird and has some kind of meaning that I'm clearly not grasping since like I'm just watching this right now and haven't had time to think about it really. It's very weird, but I do definitely appreciate how there are these common factors in each video, which makes me think that there is some kind of purpose or it is thought out even if whatever it's thought out to be is something silly in the end if that makes sense at all anyways guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think of pam tree and the videos i showed you thank you to my patrons as always and let's get right into the fan art